So David, Baywatch is the number one show on the planet. So how does it feel to know that like billions and billions of people are watching? It's uh, it's it's pretty exciting and it's also pretty scary because uh, you know sometimes you're like, yeah, I want a billion people to see me, and then sometimes you're like, Jesus, I better do a good job because a billion people are going to be seeing me. So it's a catch twenty two, but uh, you know overall it's it's an exciting concept and. Uh, I'm really excited for our premiere. It's going to be a great show. I've seen a lot of the footage so far, and uh, it's like Die Hard underwater so far. So it's great. Have you been on anything that's anywhere near this kind of exposure before? Are you used to this kind of pressure? Um, not, not of this magnitude. No. I mean, I've done a lot of different things and commercials, commercials and small parts here and there, but nothing uh, to Baywatch's. Uh, population of watching viewing of the show so 30 years from now you'll this will be like the big break right that broke you out in the years world from now right now it is so <laughs> never mind 30 years from now yeah i mean the show right now it seems to be hitting its stride and if not still going upwards and um i think timing wise it was it couldn't have been better for myself to jump on and be a really my character is really popular and he gets a lot of I've been in like 50, I'm going to be in 15 out of 19 episodes, so I'm going to be used a lot. And um, it's just perfect all around. And the show, press wise, is just every week it's on ET or X or something. So it's great for someone's career. Yeah. How, are you going to travel to other countries and see yourself speaking like German and Italian and Chinese and everything? <laughs> yeah, I, I just found that out. I already speak 10 languages. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, so actually, after we're done shooting, or in between in October, we're going to go to London for a week. And then after we're done shooting, we're going to um, New Zealand and Australia for about two and a half weeks or so to uh, promote the show and promote lifeguarding. Lifeguarding? Yeah, well, it's the Royal Lifeguarding Exchange Program where they <clears throat> they rotate like lifeguards around the world and they exchange ideas and theories about lifeguarding. And we kind of go to, to intensify the publicity of the event and to make awareness a lot higher for it, so. That's cool. So yeah. that's like a nice kind of charitable thing. Yeah, it's really neat. And, uh, you know, we get to get toured around like superstars. So it's great. <laughs> Have some fun, maybe do some surfing. So tell me how, I mean, everyone wants to be on Baywatch, right? And I'm sure right. there's like a million hunks out there who, who audition. So how, you know, what, what makes you special? What do you think made you stand out in the crowd? I don't know. Um, luckily, the, they're writing a new character. And the character they had in mind was pretty much really close to who I am. I mean, he was an all-American kid. He loved athletics. He, he wasn't caught up in Hollywood or anything like that. He was, he was on an athletic scholarship at a college here. And uh, that and the idea that they were going for like a blonde kid with a good physique and who loved athletics and great personality. He's supposed to be really outgoing. It was just like perfect. So when I walked, the fr after the first time I auditioned, they're like, Shh, producers, go see him. They were like, yeah, you'll be perfect for this. And just a few auditions later and uh, I had it. But it was, they saw a ton of people and everybody in LA, all the guys between 20 and 29 wanted this spot, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, congratulations for getting it. Thank Have a lot so of fun. Thank you so much. And uh, actually, we're coming to Vancouver in, uh, when is it, January, to do one of their shows there. So we'll be seeing y'all. Excellent. Right Thanks right. a lot, David. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, David. Sure. Can we just get it? Do you want me to say? Just say, hi, I'm David Chokichi. Hi, Metro Cafe, I'm David Chokichi. Okay. From uh, Baywatch, okay. and we're taking you back, backstage on Baywatch. Okay. Okay, we're on. Hi, I'm David Chokichi. I'm Co I play Cody Madison on the hit TV show Baywatch, and we'll be taking you backstage to see some backstage footage of filming today. Cheers. Which one? The, the little stand-up he did after, like, uh, and David Oh, I know. Yeah, it was just very choppy. <laughs> it's not very flattering to him, you know? So, which was okay, you know? And, but uh, I'm glad that we got a chance to talk to him. It's fine. We'll to get some beer roll. We're out of here, babe. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, I do. Yeah. We have to. We're going for the ultimate swing. I'm in character, so. But didn't shave the head, didn't No, you? no, no. We'll wear a cap for the hair. So, you take a, uh, a little bit of the scenario, sort of your Baywatch lifeguard well, friend. I've learned to play working with this family. They've been working together for years. I like doing it. In the beginning, it was a little tough. In the beginning, but um, everybody from the top to the bottom. I got to ask this because I got to work. What, what kind of She's wonderful. She's great to work with. Um, you know, everybody has a bad image about her. We worked together this morning. And, uh, we have a lot of fun. Tom's a nice guy. Down at the house. He kind of jokes around about this. Okay, Justine, the floor is yours. Hi, Craig. Tell me, what do you attribute Baywatch? Well, first of all, Baywatch is the number one show on the planet. How many countries is it in? It's in a, uh, about 140. 140 countries. And why, what makes Baywatch so huge? We think it's um, not only the uh, talent and the good storylines, but it's also it kind of gives off that whole California lifestyle that's um, popular and kind of sets a lot of trends. Um, you know, from the West Coast to the East Coast and then eventually to Europe and, and beyond. Do you think the, the glamorous aspect of it, the sun, sea, the surf, the boobs? The bathing suits, yes. <laughs> it, it, all, it, all, it all becomes one element and just sets off the success, yeah. Do you guys ever secretly call it Babe Watch in the offices? Uh, you might hear that from a few people, <laughs> but uh, in the offices it's taboo, yes. Uh, outside, right. yes. Is there other nicknames that we haven't heard? No, you could probably leave it to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 just, oh. Can we just uh, move? Uh, where am I? Oh. Okay. Are we rolling? Yes, ma'am. So NBC had the show for one year, right. and then they canceled it. So what happened? Now you've been running for how many years? Uh, we've been on, if you don't count the NBC years, this is our fifth season in syndication, mm -hmm. making a total of six years. Um, NBC did have it for one year. They had 22 episodes. Um, we made the pilot a movie of the week called Panic at Malibu Pier and it ran back in 1989 and did fantastic in its slot so they said well you guys we want to make a series out of it and David Hasselhoff agreed to star in it and Parker Stevenson and uh, the show for some unknown reason even though it was doing really well NBC just decided not to, to continue with it and um, yeah their mistake after a little while, the, guy, the executive producers and David Hasselhoff got together, found some European money because it was very popular in Europe, found some uh, money in the United States and domestically here in North America, and uh, was, were able to do the show on that amount of money, uh, which was really unheard of at the time. We, NBC's budget was, or the budget for NBC was $1.2 and we came back and we're doing it for significantly less. 
Wow. So it's just from you guys hustling that the show kept going. Right. Right. And then it became this huge phenomenon. Yes. Well, it was, it was important that it was popular in, in Europe. That way they could all secure extra financing. How do you keep the show fresh week after week? It's been running, like you say, six years. So do you employ new writers? or? We, um, we have a, a, a pool of writers. We have a, four or five staff writers, and then we freelance a lot of the episodes out. Um, but basically, yeah, we, we try to stay current. If there's stories that have happened in real life, we'll, we'll try to pull those in and make them more glamorous to, uh, to fit the TV realm and uh, exciting. And uh, we also like to get uh, new faces on every now and then or, or, or trim the bikinis up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a new show. I don't even know if you're related to it at all, Baywatch yes, Nights. Yes. yes so tell me about that. What is it? Uh, Baywatch, it's called, it's Baywatch Nights. It stars David Hasselhoff, and he takes Gar Garner Ellaby, who is the uh, police officer on Baywatch. They join together and uh, decide they want to be detectives. It's actually been Garner's lifelong dream to be a detective. He's always from, you know, day one. not The character. To, right. He hasn't wanted, didn't want to be a cop, always wanted to be a detective. He finally gets his chance when the opportunity comes for them to buy a existing agency. But is a little short on cash, so he asked Mitch for a loan, and together they, they form a partner. Mitch's big lifeguard salary. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so there will be uh, the same elements of Baywatch, um, only a little more elegant. They'll have... Um, more romance, more um, night glitz, uh, more like dresses and tuxedos and whatnot. And and so it's a detective story. It's crime Correct. fighting. Correct. Um, you know, along the lines of Murder, She Wrote, and Magnum P.I., and Moonlighting, all those kind of elements. The comical elements and some, some drama and action. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing it. When should that start airing? That'll be airing in the States uh, about the end of September. Excellent. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome. Craig. Listen to it. Yeah. Um, I don't have any dogs, so... You don't have any... What? <laughs> you live in L.A. and you don't have dogs. I don't have dogs. Our house is too small. Aww. Plus, we're never around. Where do you so, live? You live near Pasadena? I live 10 minutes from here. Yeah, oh. up in La Crescenta. Well, that's not such a bad trip, then. No, actually, it was a lot better to come here, yeah. except for the heat. Where do you normally shoot, like, Santa Monica? We, um, we're anywhere from Santa Monica up to Malib Malibu, North Malibu, sometimes even Oxnard. That's a and long then, trip for you. Yeah, and then occasionally we go down to Huntington Beach, Newport. Yeah, there. yeah. So, you know, it just depends on what the location calls for. Are people doing this? Correct. Okay, I see. We're going to have to get used to the water. Oh, you got to get them to the water. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh,
Stand up and then successful show on the planet. Okay. Seen in over one of the latest hunks. Behind the scenes. Ready? Seen in over 140 countries worldwide, Baywatch has become the most watched and successful TV show on the planet. With exotic locations and the sexiest stars, Metro Cafe got a behind the scenes look and I got to meet their latest hunk. Seen in over 140 countries worldwide, Baywatch has become the most watched and successful TV show in history. With exotic locations and the sexiest of stars, Metro Cafe got a behind the scenes look and I got to meet one of their latest hunks. And I got to meet their latest hunks. 